Strathicha, Darishi, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Tropico 5. And we're gonna take up right off uh, where we were last time in the next mission in the Tropico series. Special relationship, export raw resources while dealing with unexpected taxes. Uh, that sounds like just put every single last mission I've ever done in Tropico. I love these uh, little facts about eccentric dictators in the bottom. Believing his rival had turned into a black dog, Francois Fa Fran President Francois Duvar ordered all black dogs in Hades to be hunted and killed. Wow. What a champ. And you know, every, like, uh, everybody, like, compares these, like, brutal dictators to, uh, Joffrey from Game of Thrones. That, that definitely sounds like a, a Joffrey-esque move to me. Uh, Kim Jong Il told his pe told people that he invented the hamburger. After which he built a hamburger factory, saying, "I made up my mind to feed quality bread and French fries to university students." And this is taking a while to load. Some recognition. I've always wanted to be part of a secret fraternity bent on world domination. Hey, they even got me appointed governor of a new island just to show what they can do. Now it is time for the hazing rituals, I guess. My new brethren want me to befriend the U.S. president. The order wants to spread its influence throughout the Americas, and I have been chosen to do it. Making friends with the Yankees is uh, not my forte, but I'm sure I will master the skill in no time. Man, why'd they make me make friends with the U.S. Welcome president? Welcome to your new island, my apprentice. The order needs you to earn the U.S. president's friendship. Your friend Penultimo could probably help. He knows how to get under a person's skin in no time. The U.S. President has stated that no economy can prosper without independence. Make Tropico an economic powerhouse. Prove him wrong and he will surely visit. Um, or sorry, without, without Anyway, sorry, I thought it said interdependence at first. Anyway, um, you have plenty of opportunities to use your charisma on him. Objective, uh, make $5,000 in exports. That sounds like the easiest job in the world. So we got, what do we got? Dock, Teamsters, construction office, some country houses. His Majesty has come up with a most ingenious Why? plan to defeat our enemies. We will send them food and then conquer them once they have become fat and lazy. Why am I still doing stuff for you? Uh, your first task is to begin food production. His Majesty thinks you should start with a ranch, cattle. Carry out His Majesty's wishes and you will be reported with an extension of your mandate, as well as other benefits. Well, what do you mean? I don't need my mandate extended. Is this my mandate here? Four years? Oh, I'm still in the colonial era. Okay, I thought I would... Elevate to modern era. Greetings, old chap. Have I got a just doing the silver package now? Well, that's a shame. Guess I gotta start all over from the beginning. <sighs> oh well. Start with some bananas. Sugar. Man, only good places like right directly behind El Presidente's house.
And finally, we'll have another sugar plantation. Really? Man, this is not going to the... To like the specifications that I wanted. How do I get rid of something once I've... Demolished. Okay. Good enough. Okay. So we got that settled. Oh, I also got to build a cattle ranch, I guess. Oh, Presidente is going to be completely surrounded by agricultural farmlands. So I guess probably the value of his palace will go down. But then again, I don't think he really cares that much. So, apparently, you can upgrade your dynasty me uh, members. I can level up, but I need 10,000 banks in my... 10,000 bucks in my Swiss bank account. And I've got none. And I figured out... I'm pretty sure this is your mandate. I'm fairly certain that's how much time I have. Technological progress is the path to autonomy, governor. Yep, we got it. Guys, like really rocking out on this flamenco guitar. Let's see what kind of information it gives us about our citizens when we zoom in. At your service. Matriz de Rios. He's illiterate. Lives in a shack. Uh, she's unemployed and has no wealth, and she's an approval of one. You can discredit? <laughs> yeah, that's that's what di I want to spend my money doing, discrediting my own citizens. But I'm, I'm sure it's useful for, like, you know, political rivals and whatnot, but... Against her, it doesn't seem like it's the best move in the world. So, I want to phone trade. Oh, I forgot to build some bogs. I just need milk once this uh, thing gets done. Although I do think it's pretty useful that uh, guys in these country houses can build their own, uh, or farm their own crops. Yeah, I thought that it would immediately bring you into the next uh, like, era, you know, like, and I immediately I'd be able to start off in the World War II era instead of advancing all the way through the colonial riffraff once again. Hooray, the crown sent me a bunch of money.
I guess I should set up a logging camp for now. Seems like I guess this is a great place for one. It looks like there's a mine deposit right there too, so it'd be a good place to have some workers to hang out. His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with... Governor, Tropico's economic performance is most astounding. <laughs> it almost looks like you did that specifically to challenge me. Sound the horns, I'm coming to your shore. U.S. President Rudy Thompson, obviously I think supposed to be Theodore Roosevelt, is coming to town. The fastest way to bond with someone is to drink with him. The way to the heart is through the stomach, and that is why I will never come to your office without a bottle. <laughs> the U.S. president is a renowned gambler. Win some wagers against him, drink together. Uh, insanely, on the occasion, and voila, he'll be your best friend forever. After the headache, that is. Okay, you got my attention. Yet I bet there is no way you can export agricultural products on a large scale with all the taxation and regulation from that crown of yours. Hell, I'll even throw in some rewards from my side. Get some decent US export deals or fancy research technology. Well, I bet we can do that in like a heartbeat. Sir, the Crown has decided to impose a real estate tax on Tropico. My friends at court hinted that Ila Rojo was behind the idea. I do not know how they will profit from it, but you will surely suffer. We'll annually charge every... We'll charge Tropico $50 for every constructed building. Wow. That is fucked up. Well, I suppose I should build some residential areas here. Build them around the tavern. So that's why, like, I, because I got confused, it's like, oh, he thinks you can never have a thriving uh, economy without independence. I'm like, I already have independence, man. I just declared it, like, last week. His Majesty's plan has been initiated. All colonies must start exporting food to our enemies. It won't take long now when the shipments have begun. Once our enemies have been fanned up enough, we will take over the world in the name of His Majesty. Well, we'll have to see how much meat, you know, I export. Do I not get milk from my, uh, ranch? Alright, we should build a library now. We have the money. And, uh, let's build, oops. A grocer as well. Oh, where the hell is it? A 
feel like I'm very obviously missing it. And like people are screaming at their screens right now. That you make me more anxious. Oh god, where's grocer? Where's grocer? There it is. Gonna fit in some houses behind here. We finished up a new block on Tropico. Wow, that costs a lot of money. So, okay. So I'm just trying to get a, a read on some of the visual cues of the game. So this is obviously like uh, things that are being put. In those boxes. I'm pointing at the screen right now like an idiot. Um, these boxes are obviously things that are needing to be imported or exported. Okay, you proved me wrong. I'll give you that, buddy. Let's drink to your success. Take the trade deals. Actually, I should have taken the Constitution. Nope, oh, actually, that's not a bad trade deal at all. I'll definitely take that. Well, the Crown will get pissed off, but I don't really care. For another pasture there. Anyone can try to grow something. Try making money out of large-scale cattle products. Now there's a tough, smelly challenge. What do you say? <laughs> Let's not make this too hard. Anything can count. Cattle products, meat, etc. On my end, I'll uh, bet one opera house or some red tape. Um, take it from me, you can never have enough red tape. find the best food in the Empire, the king has organized a royal cook-off. We must show him that Tropican cuisine is the best cuisine. Uh, those brown-nosed royalists think we should let the king's chef win. Others think we should use our own cook to advertise our produce. However, uh, the revolution demands that we win the competition. I need to extend my mandate. My mandate is, is dwindling fast. I'll extend Penultimo. He can do it. I <laughs> believe in him. Sir, the Crown introduced budget cuts under the Share the Weight of the Crown plan, which somehow led to the increase of oh the real God. estate tax. Well, at least I can research stuff now. Hopefully, uh... Great news! While searching through the crates of colony supplies, I feel like I should set up another ranch. It has come to the Order's attention that the favor of the Crown has shifted away from you. And this endangers your current mission. I have pulled considerable strings to find a way out of this situation. The real estate tack is a clever way to put you off track. I do not know who exactly is behind it, but this obstruction of the plan cannot be tolerated. Once I have found the possible solution, I will notify you accordingly. Remember, the odor is your friend. I 
feel like someone a sh stole my manuscript and published it under a pseudonym. What are the ranch? There is a way around the real estate tax. You, of course, will have to do your part. The order does not want you to rely on us for everything. The order provides the guidance, and you provide the effort. I've secured uh, the palms which you must grease. However, the Crown's accountants have Tropicus finances under acute observation. You will need to provide the money off the books. Uh, provide money from your personal Swiss bank account to grease some palms. Okay. Well, let's uh, issue that edict. Sorry, what edict was it? There is a way. Building permit edict. Ah, oh, there it is. Oh, I need to research red tape. Our land is untamed and wild. Your family's rather rollicking love life has led to an unexpected... As the air was born, all animals became quiet. A light shone through the skies, and La Chupacabra herself went... Wow. Well... There we go. That looks ridiculous. What am I going to do with all these dynasty members? They're all hanging out. I feel like Walter Frey all of a sudden. There we go. There's a good reference for everybody. Uh, my mandate is burning out. I'm, I'm like really worried here. year or two years left what can I buy for upgrades thanks to your efforts the revolutionary movement is growing stronger our research team that is to say me discovered the shovel 40 times if I Stop that other trade rep. What else can I export to the United States? I'll export logs instead. Throwing some cheap exports on the crop market is easy. Now, a solid resource-based operation is impossible in a backward economy exploited by a so-called motherland. I bet there's no way Tropico can export substantial amounts of raw resources. As I am absolutely certain you will lose, I will actually bet half the U.S. Army on this. Or I give Tropolis, Tropico free journalist courses, whatever it may be. Did I win the cattle private thing? I don't think so. Mining and logging. Well, we definitely can build some mines. I don't know if we've got any other mine deposits around here. Over there.
His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation um. for your achievements in the name of the Empire. Taking the expansion, or the extension. And once I get enough cattle profits, then I can get red tape and get the building edict. I suppose I should also build another, uh... Throwing some cheap exports on the... Logging camp. Well done. Congratulations. Well, what do you know? I like to be proven wrong. It means I get to learn something new. I'm definitely taking uh, red tape. I don't know what else red tape does, though. What does it do? Uh, census, urban development, building permit. Nobody works as hard as you, Presidente. You toil all day and night for us. And I say it is high time you do something for yourself. Approve this edict and you will get uh, your, your Swiss bank account for every building construction on the island. Okay. Well, I just need to build... Sounds like I can modify build that opera house. right next to the presidential palace. Great news! We found out how to use the muskets the crown sent us. Apparently... How many people of mine are... His royal majesty would like to know more about your island, old chap. Be a good fellow and send a few men out to explore the island a bit. Okay. I notice there's like a Mayan rune over there. Oh, wow, there's only one unemployed person in Tropico. Oh, I can assign a manager? Freedom will never simply be given thanks to your efforts. The revolutionary movement is... While His Majesty finds your eyes... His Royal Majesty has instructed me to present you with this letter of commendation. Hmm. No oh, crap. Now I gotta switch uh, trade routes again. Because I'm sending all my logs. <laughs> 